Have you ever retouched an image and it tends to look a little bit flat and doesn't have that very nice and beautiful detail as it was before you had retouched it? So that tends to happen especially when you use frequency separation or those skin retouching techniques, maybe the airbrushing, that is going to remove that nice and beautiful shape from the image and maybe sometimes we tend to alter the contouring that was done through the makeup when it was being applied to our subjects or our models so with this tutorial i'll show you an easy technique of how you can easily get or retain that nice and beautiful shape or how you can bring it back in photoshop and this technique is just going to be dodging and burning and it's going to be very simple because you're just going to simply be drawing lines onto specific areas that we want to protrude and we have that nice and beautiful shape or three dimension feel added back into our images in just photoshop so as you can see right now i'm in photoshop and i'm using photoshop 2020 that's the version i'm using so i just going to be using curves and simply drawing lines here and then it's going to be very simple but effective so without further ado let's just get started and if i totally find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to so many people out there who are interested in learning skin retouching and this very trick so let's just come right here and we're just going to come to the curves adjustment layers so just create a curves adjustment layer so you can come and simply double click and you're going to name that to dodge and you're going to create a second curves adjustment layer and you're going to name it burn so just name this burn so remember what is dodging and burning dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows in the image remember we just want to bring back details or the shape and through painting in the shadows and the highlights of the image we're just going to be creating or recreating that three dimensional look to the image and the image is not going to be flat at the end of this very process so after naming these layers we're just going to come and first of all select the dodge layer mask right here and before you select the dodge layer mask just come and select the curves adjustment layer so we don't select this first make sure you select this icon the curves icon right here and after selecting it remember dodging is enhancing the highlights and burning is enhancing the shadows in your photos so just going to come to the image and you're just going to simply make a midpoint right here so just simply click in the middle and take it up so take it up up the point when the image is looking a little bit brighter or overexposed and we are going to come and also do the same for the burn so make sure the burn layer mask has been selected and before you can select the burn layer mask we just want to first of all select the dodge layer mask i don't know if at all i'm confusing most of you out there so let me first of all undo all this just going to delete these two layers so that we can follow along better so i just going to come to the curves adjustment layer and come to curves and first of all this is going to be our dodge and we're just going to make a midpoint and simply brighten until the image looks a little bit overexposed and you're just going to close this make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect and you're going to name this to dodge remember we just brightened up the image and you're just going to come back here and you're going to create a second curves adjustment layer and come right here in the curves click in the middle and drag down until the image turns a little bit underexposed and stop right there and you're going to make sure the white layer mask is selected press ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide or invert that effect and you're going to name this to burn so we are done creating the dodge and burn layers so I'm just going to select the dodge layer mask and with this layer mask selected make sure you select black right here you're just going to come under the brushes right click and get the brush tool make sure the hardness is at zero percent meaning it is a soft round brush 
then you're going to come to opacity and measure the opacity and the, and the flow are at 100 percent so make sure you have black and white right here and if at all you don't have black and white you can click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard switch between black and white so with the white swatch on so make sure the white is on top of black after switching so you're just going to come and simply draw lines so just going to come to the areas i feel should have had highlights in the image i'm just going to start drawing lines with the dodge layer mask remember dodging is for highlights i'm just going to come and i start drawing lines just like that i'm just going to draw lines in that kind of direction i'm just going to come this other side and also draw lines just like that and i'm going to come to the forehead and also draw lines in this area that has highlights then come and add a little bit of highlights on the chin area and you can reduce the size of your brush by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard you can as well enhance the shine on the lip just like that and after doing that you can as well come to this highlight on the nose area and simply make one stroke right there so i'm just going to do the same for the band and this time around we're just going to draw a line just like that on the shadow areas and you're going to reduce on the size and come and also draw on the nose area just like that so just basically trying to sculpt uh, the model's face just like that so when you feel like you're done doing everything the next thing is right now we have created the highlights and the shadows but now we just want to blend those into the image so one way to blend this is by simply coming right here to window right here and you come all the way to your properties and you're going to have the properties window open for you or alternatively you can just come and simply double click on this layer mask or the black layer mask so when you double click on it you're going to have the same results so just come to your feather and simply start moving up the feather just like that and you can see as you're moving up the feather it is going to start dissolving those lines into your image and it's going to make those dark parts darker in your photo just like that so i'm just going to take it up so that the lines can dissolve more into the image then i'm also going to come to my dodge layer mask and simply feather and dissolve these lines more into the image just like that and you can see the lines are now dissolving into the image but the image is now having a little bit more of the shape or dimension added to it so i'm just going to close this and i'm going to select both the dodge and burn and pressing ctrl command g on the keyboard and i can name that to dodge and burn for our dodge and burn process so just look at the before and after just look at how highlighted and how much shape we have been able to get back into the image and it is now having that three dimension look added to it and when you feel like the effect is too much you can simply come for example to the band and reduce on the opacity or on the dodge or you can as well close the group and simply reduce on the opacity of the overall group so basically this is it for this story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ron's Photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trolls and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating